Yo, what's going on Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another gameplay video. This time I've got myself on the right playing Red Green Broly. A deck I really like a lot. It's really good at interruption, kind of weak in terms of like aggro, so it can struggle against things like Shinjita because it can't really put on too much pressure early on, but it's really, really good as a reactive deck and I think I like uh, playing those types of decks a lot. On the left, we've got my friend Nick playing the Krillin Vegito deck that I profiled on the channel, I think about three weeks ago, maybe, maybe a month ago now, um, probably about a month ago. So yeah, that's just the Vegito engine from set seven utilizing the Krillin leader. I think it's one of the best leaders to play it with because you have that self awaken, which I think is really important because if you play that deck, it's kind of hard to fit self awakening into the build. So I like that the leader can do it itself. Plus that free advantage at the end of every turn is pretty nice. So myself on the right going first, got a dual color and pass. So ideally in any red green deck or blue yellow deck, you do ideally want to hit a dual color charge first. Doesn't look like Nick can do that though. So kind of unfortunate, but it's not too bad because in this matchup in particular, he does have some time. This is, like I said, it's more of a slow deck, so he does have time here to kind of get the ball rolling. Coming back to my turn, though, but having two energy with a dual color is pretty crazy because you have access to so many good counterplays and you have access to a ton of good promos. So you have like the Broly promo for red green and you have the Goku black promo for uh, blue yellow. Those just provide a ton of value. And if at any point, guys, you want to potentially buy some cards you see on the video here, make sure to use my TCG player link in the description below. Would really help out the channel a lot. So Nick is going to get that blue yellow charge. Kind of stinks to do it on turn two, but you got to do what you got to do. He does need a charge for his defensive plays, so he's going to take a life and draw a card on the leader swing there. Nice thing he has the Beerus because he's able to just put that in his energy for free next turn. So he's going to un he's going to unyielding spirit trunks to untap the blue yellow, tap two energy. For the Goku Black promo. And I'm gonna Vegeta the Cruel it. He's still gonna get his Goku Black's effect. E well, I, I choose not to get rid of the Goku Black here, but either way, he would still get rid of the uh he would still get the Goku Black effect to draw two and pitch one and resand energy no matter what. Notice that I'm putting cards under my dormant legend every time I take a hit, which is what the card does. And once I have three cards under it, I can place it to the drop area during my turn. And play a four dropper less Broly for free. The deck does a lot of neat things where it you know plays guys for free or cheap with a rival, so it is pretty neat. I do like how it plays Dormant Legend out of the deck because if you had to, if you had to cast that for two, it would be a lot more difficult to play this deck. Probably uh, wouldn't be borderline competitive, but the fact that it starts out of the deck is really really good. Unfortunately, I could probably never take it to a tournament because I always forget to take it out of the deck when I do test play this deck. But besides that, it is a pretty strong deck for sure. As far as Red Green goes, very strong. So Vegeta the Cruel going in at the Goku Black. I'd rather hit his leader with the crit. I don't really care about doing too much aggro on him. Next, deciding if he wants to save the Goku Black. Decides it's not worth it. That is five in the drop area for him. So he has access to sparking, has access to overrealm. So I'm grabbing the Broly from the deck here. I believe Nick made a mistake of picking up a life that was supposed to be a crit, but he's gonna, I believe we do correct it in a few, in a few seconds here. And Nick hasn't really shuffled his hand, so we can easily identify what the card is. Also, it's just playtesting at the house, so it's not like a huge deal. Yeah, we're, we're talking about that crit right now, so he's gonna, we're gonna resolve that right quick. Yep, and it was the trunks. I can tell that from looking at the video, plus I know that Nick's a good guy, so I know he discarded the right card. So it looks like Nick's gonna attempt to out combo this Broly here. I believe it's a Broly I'm swinging at the up, so it's gonna be a 30k out combo. To the 25k Broly, because he does, give, he does gain 5k during my turn. Also punishes him for using counter uh, counter skills in general, which against a blue yellow deck is pretty crucial because he has obviously a ton of negates because he is blue. He also has things like uh, Chomp of the Trickster. So that can definitely hurt his strategy a little bit. He does have the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku as kind of an alternate win condition, but ideally here, I think he'll want to resolve Vegito. He's gonna go for the one drop Goku here. Grabs the preface because he already has access to getting a Vegito. Flip the leader over. 
some pretty good value right there playing a one drop and then untapping to full energy He does have to be a bit careful though about after image because that can get rid of his one drop Goku. But nice thing is that he does have preface which has barrier, so he can kind of get around that. So the leader swung in at the Vegeta the Cruel, that's easily gone. I'm kind of waiting for like the most opportune time to drop my uh, red green Broly with a rival because uh, I want to be able to use it when he has multiple guys on his board that I can KO with it. Because when you do play it, it does decrease two battle cards by 15k power. So I'm going to go Vegeta the Cruel here, get rid of his 20k Vanilla. So that's just like a good defensive play. It also messes up his fusion play. But uh, he's still got two energy to work with, so he's still got things he can do for sure. I am picking at his hand though a lot with uh, multiple Vegeta the Cruels resolve now. Putting him in a, in just, that's what the deck wants to do on the right. The Broly Red Green deck just wants to put the opponent in a crippling position. Just by um, ripping the hand apart, critting them, and by you know forcing them to take damage if they want to counter, it's pretty crippling. So he's going to pass turn there without even attacking with the trunks. Guess he doesn't want to awaken me, which is a pretty good move now because I don't have Dormant Legend anymore. So I can't just like awaken myself for free with the three drop Broly. So I believe we're going four drop Broly into the one drop Goku. Again, I'm just I'm still trying to mess with his fusion plays and that Broly can attack active mode. So that's pretty solid. He can't really save it either because of the fact that it um, it would still cost him a life to activate a counter. So I'm going to drop. I'm going to grab my self awakening Broly. I can hard cast here if I really want to awaken really badly. It looks like I will do that. So I untap a red green. So I do have some access to defense, but not a lot. But at this point, I feel like it's just worth it to put the pressure on him. He is below four life. So at this point, he probably doesn't want to take too many hits. And I get some advantage from swinging with my Broly leader. So now he does have Trunks in his hand, which is what he needed to hit by turn four. If he can somehow manage to get the Vegeta Goku combo on board and then fuse into Vegito, he'll be in good shape. So we'll see what he gets here. I don't exactly know if I have an after image in my hand, but if I do, that can definitely hurt his game plan. Although he does have preface in hand to kind of fix that. Does not hit the uh, the Vegito that he needs. I don't think he has it in his hand. Oh, okay. It looks like he already has a Vegito in hand. He does have at least one bean. He'll either need multiple to set up his plays this turn, or he will just have to um, wait till next turn and play defense this turn, which isn't impossible. I do have a decently big board, but it will be possible for him to play defense another turn, I think. We're going to go Krillin attacking leader from the looks of it I'll use my I'll use my leader effect to pop one of his Goku's the reason I did that was because obviously it messes with his Vegito combo and I get to pitch a dead 10k in my hand I don't really want to charge that Broly because it'll come in charge rest mode so rather you get that usage out of it so he will draw another Vegito for turn so he does have two of them not like it really matters how many he has, but more than I thought he had at the beginning of this uh, turn. So Broly going in at Krillin. We're going to start arriving here. So we've got the red green SCR coming in. I crit a life. He takes two damage. And this is probably going to be the game that wraps it up. Now, I do want to mention that we played a few games with these decks. This is just the one that we happen to record. We don't record all of them. But uh, in one game, Nick did resolve the Vegito lock on me. And uh, that was pretty devastating. Not being able to arrival my, my plays in. The only really, um, the only real kind of sweet spot I had in that matchup was the Dormant Legend into the free Broly to try and put pressure on. But it just wasn't really doing the job. But here, it looks like he'll have the negate for my secret rare. But it will cost him a life actually so he can't even negate that's the unfortunate part so i pretty much floodgated him out of negating for the last big 50k uh, 40k swing that's going to be 50 60 70 75 
He's got 20. He's got 40. But it looks like he's going to fall a bit short here. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of the game there. But, uh, yeah, I do kind of wish I recorded the game where he did energy lock me because that was kind of cool to see. That deck kind of resolve what it's trying to do. It can be tough against red and green decks because Shocking Death Ball and an After Image are very strong interruptions for a deck like that where not all of your stuff has barrier but nonetheless good game let me guys let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below thank you guys for watching my name is joey this is crossroad tcg and i'll see you guys in the next video